Hey friends and welcome back to another hair tutorial here on my channel putting up the pom-poms here I have the beautiful Kalia my oldest daughter and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve her go-to braid out hairstyle this is a hairstyle that I do especially during the school week and I am going in using the texture ID styling cream love this cream is very whipped and creamy adds oil and shine to her curls and gets the definition popping so of course before before we go any further into this tutorial I cannot forget to remind you to subscribe to our channel if you are new please hit that subscribe button we would love for you to be a part of the family go ahead and join the pom pom gang and to all of my returning subscribers hey bestie hey mama hey friend hope you are being safe and blessed as always let's go ahead and jump straight back into the tutorial I like to go in with the perm rods for the ends of her braids. This helps with the keeping the braid from unraveling as it is drying. It also helps with the ends from getting really frizzy from them being loose and her just being a kid. And it is also going to help weigh down that braid so it gives more length to her braid as well because her hair does shrink up a lot. And this kind of weighs it down just slightly, just a little bit, not much, but it does help with kind of pulling down that braid to help it dry a little bit longer. And I'm doing a total of six of these braids throughout her head. Um, I was kind of in a rush, so I did these kind of big. Sometimes I do them small. Of course, the smaller that you do them, the more definition you'll have once you take out the hair. I love big hair, so the jumbo braids definitely don't bother me as, as much. But if I do them in smaller, I realized or I've noticed that her braid outs will last at least a couple more days longer before they get a little too frizzy. This was the next morning. Her braids were not dry. So I did have to sit her under a hooded dryer for like a good 30 minutes on medium heat just to help with finishing drying the plaits. Now we're gonna go ahead and start removing the perm rods and carefully unraveling the braids. I tried to make sure I keep, while I'm unraveling the braids, I keep them in their three sections. So I'm not like, accidentally pulling them apart and causing extra frizz for no reason before I start to separate them once I am done taking the braid out. This is what her hair looks like before I begin separating and fluffing it out. And I usually try to keep the fluffing and separation at her roots. So I may just like undo a couple of them just to keep it from being too big. And then I'll take a pick and go at her roots and just fluff up her roots a lot. And I'm also going to lay down her edges. And since she already has this like cute slanted part, which was kind of on accident, I didn't really plan on doing that. I'm just gonna take two clips and just pin them back. She doesn't like when her hair falls in her face, of course. So the clips help keep the hair out of her face as well as keep her hands out from playing in it. This hairstyle will last one week for Kalia. For her nighttime routine, those 
same six plaits that we took out in the beginning I pretty much put her hair back into those six plaits I don't braid it up though I do the banding method so I just take some soft um, hair ties and just band go down, going down the length of the hair this helps with frizz and it also helps from keeping her hair from shrinking when she's done taking her shower and getting ready for bed and then we'll take it out the next morning and she pretty much has the same style so that is the completed look for Kalia thank you guys for joining us on a another tutorial here on our channel we'll see y'all on another one be blessed and be safe